Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno ranked match. On the left side, I am playing my Sud, one of my favorite decks. Um, and I think it's honestly one of the best opener decks in the game. And on the right, we're playing against Reforger, who's playing his 82nd Airborne. Anyway, let's go over deployments here. I'm opening up with two Green Berets, two VLRA AA pieces with two Fulshin Meager Satchels behind them. Going into the southern point tier of Charlie, an AMX, a off Calaire, and a CV. So pretty heavy deployment, thinking he would play pretty aggressive over here. In the north, we got just another off clear going into the center position. And then we got two Green Berets, two Full Shimager Satchels, two VLRA, and a AMX. So pretty even uh, deployment compared to the south and north. And then a BGS going to the far north and a CV coming up behind it to Cap, Delta, and Bravo. On our opponent's side, he's opening up with an LAV going into the southern point here from the other way. He's got some scouts here, some singers, some airborne dragons, some sniper teams. Uh, more airborne and more airborne dragons with a tow V and some more stingers over here though he's got two airborne engineers with an at4 and an airborne and an airborne dragon coming up behind that with an lav coming up behind that as well um, so pretty light deployment honestly for the far north but i'm honestly only sending one bgs so he's sending nothing up here he's playing hyper aggressive for charlie and bravo and yeah let's kick this game off here so general idea was to fend off the initial attack on charlie and fend off the initial attack on Bravo uh, with the Satchel Troopers. Uh, Satchel Troopers are going to be really nasty against him unless he brings Engineers, which he actually is bringing the Engineers. So if you can put them in the key position here, you can pretty much mess me up pretty badly. Um, but over here, we're putting a lot more firepower, I think, in comparison to him. I'd rather be in my position. And we're also going to beat him over here. We get here before he does. Uh, this is our point. Well, Fox Shot's supposed to be theirs. So we do actually have the advantage here at the start of the game. And we'll actually play maybe from this perspective. Um... But we'll see over here on the southern front <clears> or <throat> the left side now we are just going to try to get these green braids as quickly as possible they're a little bit faster than the opponents actually they're the same speed but other otherwise against the pack players really faster i'm going to unload early we got a lot going on though we're going to unload we're going to get at4 on the far north too we can see in the very distance i'm also going to get some at4 shots on him at4 gets the clean hit here he's not paying attention he's having to micro between the two spots i think he's panicked between the two spots and he just wiped out his entire opener right there and then on this position, we're also messing him up, pretty much catching him off guard. He is unable, he was able to unload over here, uh, but I don't think he's expected AMX in this road. And now he's just in more squads. Over here, though, we're about to get freaking overrun, and he unloads this time. But we pretty much wiped out his opener, and that was the most clean opener with Green Braze. And that really shows you, I mean, honestly, Sud probably has one of the best openers in all of Warno. Over here, though, we're definitely going to lose his engagement with a 2v1 against the Airborne. Not looking too good. We're moving up our other Green Beret squad to help out. Get the clean kill on the LAV. There's nothing on the front line now. This entire stuff's collapsing. And we're almost kill our CV there. We do get it away, though. LGB now coming in here. Dropping off first shot. Going to peel out to the left to get away from the Singer. He misses. We're going to come back around for another strike in a second. I want to get the other airborne. Um, but yeah, we just kind of like... Oh, oh, totally messed him up. with Rotator AMX here to engage the LAV. Airborne now getting shot at and that is every single line infantry dead every single one could not have a more clean opener there over here though this, this is the last one here and he's not gonna do much we're gonna go a little bit fast now because that was kind of the wipe but that's how you beat the airborne deck in general uh one like you can, if they're pushing in multiple sections it's really hard even for high level players to micro it to get both down he unloaded the southern front but he didn't unload in the north and plus we are in a good position here on him keeping him in the open area and over here, he rushed in here. Even if he made it and unloaded, he would have died to all the full Shimager here. The satchels. And that, that's the key part. And the AMX behind that just gives me that extra oomph to knock him out. But yeah, that's that's what you kind of have to do here against the support. Yeah, you have to anticipate the rush. Anytime you're on this map and you're on Red's perspective, the rush is going to be right here. And the rush is going to be right here. If you're anytime you're on the other perspective... And you're on blue and you're the airborne player usually there's a rush here usually there's a rush on the left side usually this point's abandoned um so that's usually what takes place here but he's still keeping up the fight here he wants to not give up but you know wiping out his entire opener there um just like what can he really do we're buying up rollins down to suppress his aa um i'm satisfied with not even pushing up really but we will once we build up sufficient forces put that guy on one health and what's he supposed to do right now? He moves over here. He's Rollins now. He does get a nice kill on one of my fighters, but we just kill him. And we're going to start getting into his rear section now. And then we'll do a steady push against him. Let's have another F-15 here. He's coming in. To get a nice hit on him. 
No kill though. These these squads are really nasty. Gonna cut out in the open here. This squad's still gonna do well, but it does go down. Two squads versus one. Actually, down it's four v one, five v one. Next squad gets eliminated. Which is over here. We do miss. Playing really aggressive now. Rotating AMX. But we're pushing through here now as well. And again, he's driving up pretty far now. Do get a dodge there. Some fighters hanging out, but... He's just losing everything now to Rollins. They're probably going to rotate a CV over here. Yep, we already given the order. He's got all these forces over here. You can see that, but like we've, we've capitalized on the right side. And honestly, we have probably pretty good as you can see compared to him. Air Mobile are going to mess him up here in a 1v1 fight. And we've still got plenty of fighters, cheap fighters. He's got some airborne dragon here, but not going to help him when we cap the zone. We're going to go plus two on him. Oh yeah, he's losing Humvees here to the MXs. They are taken out. Got reinforcements over here now. We've locked down this road. I'm gonna start moving this AMX to get shots on this position. And you can see that two of these guys in a building just annihilates that squad, not even taking no health of damage. He's buying little birds, but we got cheap fighters. That's the problem with, with I mean, you know, with using these type of little birds. Build a CB now. Now we're plus two. And we'll go fastest here. We're just mopping up this stuff over here now on the left. There's not really much you can do. We've got like an encirclement going on. He pushes in here, but we got LAVs that could shoot him. Certain LAVs, AMXs, and infantry can kill him with a few fighters as well. That is game there. Uh, but really, the key was the Green Bridge. Green Bridge, the opener, getting in a key position. I don't think he was expecting me to get that forward deploy against him. And all of a sudden, it was in his face, and he just lost a bunch of squads. He's probably microing on one area. And then he just looked over and everything was dead. That's something you got to look out for. You're playing in a rush deck. You have to be on top of every position because you're going to be running into things. And that's a great way to pretty much lose all, you know, your entire opener. LGB came in after. Killed a heavy hog somehow. Oh, it was landed, I think, when we came in and striked it. And then we killed two of his elite squads. Mopped up everything. And that is game there. We can see what he did. The quality. Tom V's, but like everything else, pretty much not going positive at all. Anyway, thanks for my opponent for playing. I um, hope this will be like a good, you know, show of like how to counter maybe any second player, but also like, you know, how to pay attention a little more about where the key positions are and, and having that map knowledge and where the positions are and where you're going to meet. I think he just wasn't ready for me to be that up in his face. And a lot of players aren't against sub. People don't kind of sleep on that sub as airborne. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.